Yes guys, it's 11 o'clock and the Kickstarter program has been launched. It's going quite well so far. Um, yep, going to be exposing the t-shirts, so have a look at the new t-shirts and I'm also in the process right now on off subject, sorting out all of the uh, discs which I'm uploading some of the disc images, Omniflop disc images uh, to the Samploids website. So little update today, uh, been pretty hectic at work, roll on the Christmas and uh, yeah it's uh, going to be cracking away that soon. Check out the new Junglist Varsity jackets straight off the DTG printer, looking absolutely wicked, check that out people. So guys, I am currently going through my sound library and we come to the point of the sound library now because I've got a disc here that won't load and it needs a specific bass here called uh, 80 hertz bass which I'm trying to find for another song that I'm in the process of loading and uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little quick little sort of tour of my sound library back in the day this is how we used to store the discs, how I used to store all my discs back in the day uh, carefully labelled up every single disc so I could see what was on it and uh, you'd ha I'd, I used to have to remember what discs my sounds were on so as you can see uh, I've got strings on this one some session singer vocals on this one uh, heavy duty brakes on this one all labelled up you've got uh, mega original samples crunch and I'm looking for something called 80 hertz bass and it kind of reminisce going back through all my samples here give me an old flavor for when I used to do this sort of thing back in the day man it's mad absolutely mad 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 zero breaks Akai breaks strings vocals vocal B look vocal B Peche look that's from when I used to work with Peche Akai Suino one of my favorite breaks there there's just so much in this library and I also spend so much time guys just sampling my breaks and beats and stuff just getting them right looping them and saving them on disc and this in itself was a lot of time and effort gone into getting these discs to where they are today hours and hours of time in the studio and this is just one box from my sound library and uh, hoping to find this uh, 80 hertz bass on the Akai S950 Yes, guys, just see this little SATA rack on eBay, man. This is looking pretty good because I've got uh, quite a few hard drives here sitting here doing nothing. And I figured that I would uh, get a little rack like this um, and uh, basically put it into my PC and make some sort of storage tower to store my videos, to store samples, whatever. This looks like a really good little buy. For 13 quid, you can't go wrong. Comment down below, let me know what you think of it. I'm a everyday